Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is August 3rd, 2010, and this is a eugenics video. Um, except for this first article that I just wanted to cover briefly because there's a lot of stuff going on in Pakistan right now. And I mentioned in my War on Terror video news video about how it's very possible that this whole flood could be caused by, you know, basically cloud seeding. Uh, this uh, chemtrailing, whatever you want to call it, but I call it cloud seeding weather modification because it's exactly what governments call it. And uh, it is global, and there was definitely footage of it and reports of it going on in Ukraine uh, while well, the whole swine flu thing was going on. So, I mean, they're spraying globally. They're obviously doing it in Russia and China and the U.S., so I would assume that they're doing it in Europe as well, and possibly, if they want to, Pakistan. So, if you, I mean, this is uh, some very interesting, it's a very interesting concept because I read the uh, Owning the Weather by 2025 uh, Weather Multiple, uh, Weather Force Multiplier document. I read the, read the whole thing and I covered it on the Cutting Edge Radio Show when I was on when uh, Delta and I were doing it a couple months ago. And it basically said in there that cloud seeding could be used as a weapon, as a political weapon, as a social weapon, not just to make it rain to hamper people's you know day. Oh, it's raining. No, I better wear an umbrella. I'm going to be depressed. No, it's to displace people to cause. Um, civil unrest to, um, you know, here in Pakistan, yeah, they had a lot of stuff going on, and and uh, all of a sudden, these WikiLeaks come out, um, on, uh, all of a sudden, the Iraq war is over, according to Obama, and uh, Afghanistan is doing really bad, they're pushing, the troops are pushing towards Pakistan, uh, and in the WikiLeaks, it basically says... What we already knew, which was that Pakistan is basically aiding Taliban. We are giving money to Pakistan. They're giving money to the Taliban, and we're basically fighting ourselves. But uh, we had the, it all started with the plane crash, the plane crash that happened before the floods, and now these floods, and now the culmination, the fallout, or whatever you want to call it, is the political unrest that's going on in Pakistan. So basically what this caused, this little bit of more, this this rain, these floods are causing a need, or it's, 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 it's giving the militants in Pakistan the ability to come out and do whatever they want to do. And it's uh, harming, or not harming, but it's making it harder for Pakistani authorities to uh, have control over all of it. So this is exactly what the Western powers want. They want to be able to actually go into Pakistan and they're getting uh, in the U.S. and the world's minds right now. So just wanted to come. And now eugenics. Mail online. Clone Farms Milk is on sale. Food watchdog investigates after dairy farmers astonishing a mission. This is from August 2nd. Uh, 2010. I also have another article. It says milk from the offspring of cloned cows is secretly and illegally going on into high street shops. Despite deep unease among customers, the milk is not being labeled or identified in any way, leaving shoppers in the dark about what they are drinking. It's kind of like GMO. The dairy farmer involved said he wanted to remain anonymous because the British public regards cloning as so distasteful that buyers would stop taking his milk. Last night, the Food Standards Agency, or I guess it's equivalent to our uh, FDA, said it would investigate. It told the Mail that it believes that the sale of milk from such cows is illegal under food regulations. And this is how ass-backwards the world that we're living in is, right guys? Because here in the United States, we got, <laughs> we got the FDA, or your Food Standards Agency, over here raiding with guns drawn, these fat slob... Uh, FDA agent, federal agents going in, or I think they were actually local police, going into health food stores, organic stores, and searching for um, contraband, which was what? Raw milk, to have healthy milk. So see, they're sliding this freaking crap into your milk, not telling you possibly, right? Allegedly, reportedly. And then, here in the United States, um, they're raiding or shops that try to offer you milk that is uh, considered to be one of the healthiest forms, 
but uh, it is demonized as being a, a, a threat to society and it can unleash viruses. Um, so, but this is how it works, right? They put it in there to see if they can get away with it and then if there's public outcry, then they scale back and then they wait for it to come out of the uh, public's perception. Uh, much like the food additives, or I'm sorry, in the milk, the growth hormones and the and the uh, antibiotics, now they're eventually starting to scale back on that because they're losing money. But that's how this, that's how these people work, and that's how eugenics works. It's progressive, it's slow, it's uh, incremental, and uh, people who always repudiate uh, things as just being conspiracy theories are the first are the first ones to not give a shit about any of this and say that you know you're um, over hyping things or over analyzing things because you know if you watch and you pay attention you study this stuff day to day it builds up patterns and when you have patterns you can pretty much um, make somewhat of a conclusion to something but if you keep your hair your head buried in the sand most of the time and you don't want to see these articles after articles after articles of just uh, insane news about how our liberty and our sovereignty and that is being taken from us slowly, and then people tell us that we're that we're theorizing about this. I think that's why uh, most people do get upset with those people. This is from today. They covered it again. I'm not going to cover it too much longer. I got to move on to the other articles. But it says, "Keep out of the clones." says campaigners, food products containing milk or meat from cloned animals will inevitably end up on sale in Britain unless regulations are tightened, campaigners said last night. And uh, says, as the Food Standards Agency investigated claims that a British farmer had illegally sold milk from the offspring of a cloned cow, the EU faced calls for a ban on all foodstuffs from cloned animals. Lastly, EU regulations state that meat and dairy products from clones and their offspring can be sold if farmers receive prior permission, a rule that gives mixed messages to producers, according to the RS or RSPICA. Too many women dying in the U.S. while having babies. I haven't seen this yet. A buddy of mine just mentioned this movie to me, The Business of Being Born, and uh, he's, uh, he has one child, and he may have another, and if he does, uh, he's actually considering a home birth. Um, but he better do it fast before um, midwives, having midwives, is illegal. The report titled Deadly Delivery notes that the likelihood of a woman's dying in childbirth in the U.S. is five times as great in Greece, as in Greece, sorry, four times as great as in Germany, and three times as great as in Spain. Every day in the U.S., more than two women die of pregnancy-related causes, with the maturity, maternal mortor, mortality ratio doubling from 6.6 .6 deaths per 100,000 births in 1987, that's 6.6, .6 to 13.3 deaths per 100,000, so it's doubled. And as shocking as these figures, figures are, Amnesty notes that the actual number of maternal deaths in the U.S. may be a lot higher since there are no federal requirements to report these outcomes. Another Time article, too many C-sections, docs rethink induced labor, and this is what the business of being born was all about about uh, everybody having C-sections and time to labor. Um, the rise in cesarean sections delivers in recent years has been characterized by some as the key indication of over-medicalization of childbirth. While the procedure undoubtedly saves lives and leads to better health outcomes for mothers and infants who face problems during pregnancy and labor, many experts say the procedure is being performed too often in many cases for non-medical reasons, putting healthy women and babies at undue risk of complications of major surgery. The rate of C-sections has reached more than 31% in the U.S., a historical high according to 2007 data from American College of uh, Gynecologists. This article is being carried by MSNBC, but originally uh, posted or published by Reuters from uh, July 30th, 2010. It's titled, Drug-Resistant Strain of E. coli Emergent Merges in the U.S. New strain may be on the way to becoming untreatable. Reach your, reach creepy stuff here. Establishment media pushes brain-eating vaccines. Scientific dictatorship wants lobotomized subservient public. Wired.com, Army's vaccine plan, inject troops with gas-propelled electrocharged DNA. You guys, I'm running out of time, so please check this out. The link will be posted. And lastly, from August 2nd, um, America, Nation of Drunkards. A Gallup poll who has been tracking American 
uh, trends for 71 years and its latest installment completed in July found that 67% of Americans report they consume alcohol on a regular basis. Thank you.